Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth and I'm here in my art loft. I'm going to do a walkthrough of my latest journal. This one has butterflies and it is all original gel prints. And I made the closure different than I've made closures before. I found this beautiful butterfly uh, ribbon at, I believe it was at Hobby Lobby, and decided to use that as the closure. So you can just simply slip it off the book, and if the book grows, then it could be untied and retied. Because, but it is a wired ribbon, so it would be a little, little more difficult maybe than to, uh, you know, like a sari silk or something. Of course, that could be added to it too. Um, this one has the blue and orange cover, and so I made the bead dangles, the fringe as I call it with blue and orange beads. And I think that it turned out really pretty. I'm very pleased with the way it looks. Um, the blues are just sprinkled through there. The orange is the mainstay of the color of the background. The um, back of the spine here is actually the craft text that was white and I put a little gold paint on it and I think you can see that it shimmers a little bit. The spine itself is really pretty even without the beads. I think the uh, showing through the, the, the spine of the signature showing through, I think turn out, turns out really nice. And um, this one's made with two sets of uh, pamphlet stitch, one at the top where the strings are on the outside and one at the bottom where the strings are on the inside. So that's what the outside of it looks like. And the fringe does have paper beads down at the bottom. That's kind of my signature thing, I think, is to make the fringe nice and long so that it actually hits the table, or in one case, almost hits the table, and so that, and has paper beads somewhere in it as well. I think it's neat because it's a paper book, so why not have paper beads? But I love the gel prints that are in here. I think that it turned out really neat with the different, um, different butterflies I use. This one has little tiny butterflies. I don't know if you can see those in there, but they're small little butterflies stamped in there. And that was part of my fire and ice series, the blue and the oranges. Uh, this one is a, a gel print that was printed twice. The blue and green, uh, the green circles and the blue waves were one, one print. And then I overprinted it with the purple and the then the butterflies were stamped on top, and I think it's kind of cute that the butterflies kind of just peek out there. Throughout this book, I have made a few pockets and a few um, flip outs so that you have additional journaling space, although you do have plenty. I mean, with each each page is blank, every other page is blank with the, with the uh, gel prints making up the, you know, the other pages, the colored pages, and the in, in each signature, I have one roll-off print, and sometimes it has more to it than that, but that's one, and each signature has a different butterfly, so this particular butterfly you'll see throughout this signature, and then the next signature will have a different butterfly. This is one of the flip-out pages. It has two additional pages that you can write on. I mean, plenty of room if you're writing a long, long little story there. <laughs> And then some pages just flip out and, you know, most of the time that they have a flip out like that, there's, you know, something that relates to the other page. So it's uh, interesting in that aspect. This is the center of the first signature and these are the inside uh, strings from the um, pamphlet stitch. You could put beads or whatever on them and because they do, they are long enough that they go out beyond the tail of the book. Or if you wanted to, you can clip them off. Uh, I'd put a little glue on there if I was clipping them off. You could tuck them in with the other, with the strings. I mean, whatever the person that gets this wants to do with them. I left that kind of up to them. Here's one of the um, cards that, that's a, you know, an extra card in a pocket. Um, I just like the gel prints that are in here. I like this one a lot. This one has my uh, vine stuff that I did. And this one just flips out. It's not, a, it's not a pocket. It just flips out. 
And I tried to make the pages, you know, relate in some way. These, this relates pretty well, these two. Of course, this one's a pocket. It has a, a little journaling card. You could put additional journaling cards in there because it's, it's not very thick. I mean, it's not this one particular one. It's not very thick. And this has a lot of detail down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. The, it's uh, one of my, one I call stained glass because to me it looked like stained glass in there with all those different colors and pretty stuff. And I don't want to lay on the beads, but they'll lay in there nicely. That's the back of the first signature. Oops, I skipped a page, didn't I? This particular page has some uh, color shift paint on it, and if you look at it in different lights, it looks purple or it looks blue. Kind of cool stuff. I like. I really like this uh, print with the green showing through and the butterflies kind of half there. A lot of the butterflies in here were just done with the with the gel print itself like that one and that one this one they're stamped on afterwards you can usually tell that they're stamped on afterwards if they're really clear because that just means that they they were uh, added after the after the gel print was done and of course I added them to my my roll-off sheets this one has you can see the butterfly here uh, and part of it, part of one there, there's one there, and this one just peeled off different paints in different ways so it looks different. This one doesn't have any butterflies on that, but it does have a, a gold pattern. I don't know if you can, I think you can see that a little bit. Another pocket. I like this one, I think that's pretty how it turned out. And the center of the second section is red, red, red. just flips out. Now, since it does have paint on the edge of the paper, I mean on the paper, sometimes your edges are going to crack a little bit. Now you can, I would put just a piece of washi tape over there if you don't like that. If you decided to tear that off, I mean that's doable too and then you wouldn't have that problem. The uh, roll-off sheets don't seem to crack. Well, sometimes they do, but this one didn't. So that's good. This is a flip out again. Each signature has two uh, cards, either in pockets or belly bands, and at least, and has one flip out as well. But other ones could be added. I mean, you could close that up and make that a pocket too. Third signature is green. And it has this particular butterfly. This butterfly I carved. I did, I carved this butterfly as well. That's one of my butterflies. There's a pocket. And the roll-off sheet in this signature. I like the way this butterfly came out. It's got gold and then it's got the blue along with it, so it's kind of variegated butterfly. <laughs> this just flips out. Another flip out. Another flip out. Got a lot of flip outs in that one, huh? This is the center section of the third signature. It's got kind of that's a kind of a brick red, and then the the viney stuff is turquoise, and the, this is gold. I don't know. The viney stuff's actually a, a metallic blue. And there's another flip out. I like the way I, I did kind of variegated the butterflies from a an orange, darker orange here to a lighter orange there on that one. Turned out neat. This has a kind of variegation on this one as well. Oops. It flips out. There's some more of the vining stuff. Another pocket. And then the yellow section's signature four. This is a purchased butterfly. I really like that one though because he's wide open. I mean, you could color in, color in the butterflies if you so desired. That's some of the. Well, that didn't really turn out to be like stained glass as much as it could have been, but 
kind of like the butterflies just running up the edge there. I think that's neat. Roll off sheet. These are pretty. They're blue and gold butterflies. And this one, the background, looks like polka dots and stuff. And I'm not sure how that happened, but it's kind of interesting. And then these are kind of variegated. You can see these are gold, gold here, and it goes kind of to a, a coppery gold and then over to a copper here. And that was in the print itself. These are added after the print. This is a flip out. But this one is a flip out that has enough room uh, in the front of it there. You could actually make that into a pocket too. You see it won't come out of there. So you could, you know, you could put extra cards. This one, this one was a reject card. <laughs> but that, you know, each, each flip out has two pages. Um, I've glued them on by taping this over the top of it. So that's why you have a, a little tuck spot there and uh, gives a lot of journaling space if you're wanting to wanting to do that. That's the center of the fourth section, fourth signature. Some more flip, flip out flip pages. Some of the butterflies are more obscured than others. This one's again kind of variegated because the, there was kind of a light gray in the middle and then the, the gold on the outside. So I, when I stamped those on, I stamped the gold on the outside and then kind of the coppery stuff in the middle. That's neat. And these are a, a little bit obscured, but they're, you can see them if you ha see them in the right light because the, the gold is so, I love that gold. And this, you see the butterflies are just on the edge, but if you flip it out, of course, you can see where they are. But that one, when I was doing the print, then the stencil only came to here, so I had extra uh, color on the side. And so when I got ready to stamp on the butterflies to make it relate to that, I uh, just stamped them over to the edges. Another pocket. And now we're at the fifth signature, which is orange, and I love this butterfly. It's a, a big red, red rubber butterfly. It's really pretty. And sometimes it's stamped better than others. This was because I laid this gel print on top of a different gel print when the other one wasn't quite dry. So you've got a little bit of uh, off print onto this. Shame on me. I think this looks really pretty. It's kind of a slicker page. Some of the pages are are a little slicker than the others because the you know the amount of paint that was on there. Some of them, like this one, is actually printed twice. It had the underlying uh, red color there and the splashy gold here that I don't know if you can. See. I think you can see that. But the then the butterflies were added. The green was added on top of that, and then the butterflies were added on top of that. But this one was printed all in one, and, well, no nope, butterflies were added. But it has, it's almost a slick piece of paper because of the type of paint that it was. I like the color of that one. Look up all those colors that are in that, in that color right there. And it's just a flip out so that you can see the full butterfly and roll off page. somehow makes me think of space or something. I don't know what the colors, I mean, I don't know why that is because it's just, you know, like pale green and blue green and purple and or pinky purple and turquoise and gold. I guess, I guess those are the colors of space, right? <laughs> I don't know. Just making that up as I go. I like this. This has got uh, the squares. There is a, a uh, rubber stamp I carved. It's, it's a large rubber stamp. It's about about 17 by, I don't know, 13 by 17, maybe, I don't know, somewhere around there. And there was a red in the middle of the second uh, signature, and this is the fifth signature, and so there's a red near the center. The center here is not quite all red. It's kind of uh, very busy, almost like remind me of Chinese lanterns in the background of all the butterflies flying. 
And this one does have a pull thing out so that you can see the whole print. Oh, not on that side. I think it I think it stopped right there because it's only 15, 14 inches, so yeah. And that. And this has two colors of butterflies stamped on it. I like that. And it has a pocket. And then this, we saw this on the other side. The other side of that uh, same <laughs> otherworldly print. <laughs> and this one doesn't want to do that. We can open it up. It's kind of pretty. And we have these butterflies. This is a flip out. With room for lots of journaling, pictures, whatever you want to do with it. And then the last signature is the red one. And that doesn't mean all the butterflies are red, it just means it starts out red and then all the butterflies are the same in the signature. And this one has difficulty stamping sometimes, so sometimes it got the body better than others. And there you have that. I like that one. I think that turned out neat. Could move it down a little. And this has actually got a sheen in behind it that you don't, I mean, it might not be as evident. Probably if I move it a little bit. This is actually white paint in here. It's not just white. And you can see in the, in the uh, dark colors, there's actually gold flecks in the dark colors. I like this one. I think that's pretty. Butterfly's got a little mushed, but that's okay, too. This is the only belly band in it, and I, what I did was to tear that off of, uh, might have been off the edge of that, I'm not sure, and then put it over here as a, a opposite it so that it uh, goes together. And I, you, know, you know, you could put paper clips on it, you could put other belly bands throughout the book, I mean, any of these ones that have the flip outs, you could tear that off and make a belly band out of, you know, tear this off and make a belly band over here or something. Now, I wouldn't that one necessarily because that one, you know, flips out so you can see three, three full butterflies practically. Not quite get close. Another flip out here with, the, with enough room that I think it can have a, yeah, it could have one stay there too. See, it doesn't fall out. Okay, and we're getting to the end here. The jelly print, I mean the roll-off print, which has got some, a lot of nice texture and color in there. And this has an interesting background there, too. There's my square prints. And the last page has a pocket in which it has a board, which is a, kind of a slicky board. But you put that in behind any page that you're going to write on. Let's say you're going to write on this one. Put it in behind there so that you won't feel like the pocket or whatever else might be beyond that. And that is it for my sixth. Well, it's the third, it's the third jelly print uh, journal that I've made. But I've had made um, like five, four or five. I'll have to count them up. Four or five of the roll-off journals. So the difference, of course, is that the jelly print journal has the white pages, and the uh, roll-off prints is are on those uh, the nice brown pages like that. But the roll-off prints aren't as uh, well. One wouldn't expect this brown paper to last as long as this beautiful white paper for one thing. Plus these are the jelly prints themselves and those are just roll-offs with, sometimes I do jelly print on them, but they're usually roll-offs with just the, uh, the, the, you know, paint from the roller and then whatever else I've stamped on there as opposed to being a true jelly print. So these are jelly print originals, not, not any two alike. There's some that are that look sort of alike, but they're not. Because I know, I, I tried a couple of times to make ones 
like each other and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm just putting these strings back in here and I thought you'd like to look one more time a little bit more. Okay and then the back page of course it looks like that and the back of the back looks like that and then when we sit it up again we've got our nice fringe here and then we can put on our our tie that binds it together that holds it together and you just sit that in there like that and you can just kind of wiggle this onto it and it is a wired ribbon so it's uh, pretty easy to slide on there and then it, it could sit on your shelf and if you wanted it to sit in amongst other books you might want to scoot this uh, the ribbon the the bow part of the ribbon up to the top or something but you know it could have its own shelf because it would be happy there and that's all I have for today thank you for watching Thank you for subscribing and commenting and whatever else you like to do on that. Give me a thumbs up if you want. If you don't, that's okay too. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.